Hey folks, Sheila here from Design Files. In today's video, we're going to be covering the basics for how to draw your floor plans using the Design Files 3D Floor Planner. Now, just a quick note before we get started, if you do have an image of the actual floor plan and you wanna be able to trace or import and trace that floor plan image, you do have the ability to do that up here. You're gonna see that there's an upload link where you can upload the image. So there is a video in our video tutorial library that will walk you through that step-by-step step, and you should check it out if you do have your floor plan images because it'll make it a really quick process for you. Now in this video, we're actually gonna focus on how to draw your floor plans manually. And there are a couple of ways that you can do that. So you do have a wall tool over here. So you could basically just click and draw walls until you have uh, basically drawn out your floor plan. And we'll go over that shortly. But you also have these room templates available. So if you have a client that has more of like a, I don't know, a generic shape uh, for their space, like a square or a rectangle or even an L shape, you could take any of these room templates, click on it, move your mouse over to the grid, click anywhere on the grid, move your mouse out and click to release. And you'll see that floor plan come to life. Now, once you've done that, you can adjust any of the wall dimensions and there's a few ways that you can do it. So I could click on any of the walls and I could click and hold down with the left button on my mouse and just drag the wall in and out if I want to adjust my floor plan. I also have the ability to click on any of these walls and I can use the left, right, and up, down arrows on my keyboard if I wanna move a wall one quarter inch at a time. So if you just need a little bit more accuracy, then you could do that. And then you also have the ability to just click any of the wall dimensions and you can adjust them by manually inputting a new number. So for instance, if I wanted to shorten this wall to 15 feet, I could put in 15 and then the other thing that you should be aware of is that you get to choose which side of the wall you want to shorten. So if I wanted to shorten my floor plan from this side, then I'm going to use this left arrow. If I wanted to shorten this wall from this side, then I'm going to use the right arrow. And if I just want to shorten it equally, like basically kind of split the difference, then I would use the double arrows in the middle or I would just hit enter on my keyboard. So let's go ahead, we'll hit the double arrow so you can see what will happen. So you can see that this wall got pulled in and this wall got pulled in. Now, let's do another number here. Let's say that we're going to increase the length of this wall to 20 feet, five and a quarter inch, okay? So this is how I would type in a measurement like that. We would do 20, single quote, five, decimal, two five, double quote. That's how you would input 20 feet, five and a quarter inches. Now, let's say that I don't want to alter this side of my floor plan at all. I just want to extend this wall out to the left. So I'm gonna use the left arrow here and you can see how it's going to move this wall out to the left without adjusting this right side. So that's basically how you would go about adjusting your walls using the Design Files 3D Floor Planner. Now, you do also have the ability to click on any of the corners and you can pull on any of the corners as well. And if you are altering the angle, you're gonna see the degrees as you change up the wall. So that'll help you make sure if you are at 90 degrees or if you need to draw any angled walls, you'll have the ability to make sure it's accurate. Now I'm gonna delete this floor plan here and let's go ahead and we're gonna use the wall tool. If you just wanna draw out your floor plan wall by wall, use the wall tool. You're gonna to click on that. You'll come over to your uh, grid, click anywhere on the grid to make your first point, and then you can draw out your walls. Now, the one thing that you don't want to do here is you don't want to make a point where there's going to be a window edge or a door edge and another point where it ends. You just want to draw out the entire wall because ultimately we're going to add in the doors and the windows after all the walls have been taken care of. So just do the full length of the wall. If you need to draw any walls that have um, angles to them, then you would, as you kind of rotate on an angle, you're going to see the degrees so you can make sure that your angles are correct. Uh, in this case, I'll just do a little one here. We're going to draw a larger wall up here. And then the other thing that you have to be aware of is that when you're drawing out your own uh, wall measurements, you need to close off the uh, floor plan. So you can't leave it open like this. Uh, the system needs it to be fully closed off so that it knows where to put all the flooring for this particular space. So you're going to click on the very first point that you made. And you'll know if you've done it correctly because you should no longer see the grid through your floor plan. It should be a solid light gray color like this. Now, we'll just shift this up so we've got a little bit more of an angle on this wall here. But a couple other things that I'll bring to your attention. 
if I wanted to put a big bay window in for this particular uh, wall here, another thing that I can do here is I can add breaks to my wall. So if I click on the break point, you're gonna see a little red line show, and that's, you're basically gonna click wherever you wanna make a break. You'll see the dimension for the distance between, uh, for this length section of the wall and this section. So I'm actually gonna make four breaks here. So we're just gonna add a few breaks. I'm not gonna to worry too much about exactly where they are for now because I can adjust that after the fact. But for any of the breaks that I add, it means that I can now pull on these uh, broken uh, portions of the wall so I can adjust the overall structure of my wall, just like that. And then I can kind of move things around and just kind of get the measurements uh, to what I need them to be. So in here, I could put in a new measurement, a new measurement, and a new measurement just to make sure everything is exact. But that's how you would basically break up your wall if you need to adjust the angles. Now, over here, if I ever want to undo any of the changes that I've made, I'm just going to click the undo button and you'll see that it's going to undo everything step by step. Another thing that you can do here is we can draw inner walls. So if you want to break up your floor plan to have multiple rooms, I'm going to take the wall tool right here. I'm going to click directly on one of the outer walls I'll, uh, to make my first point, And then I can move my mouse in. I can click and then click back out here to close off certain sections of my floor plan. And then you're going to see the inner measurements for those spaces. Another thing that you can do here is, let's say that we're just going to draw a wall that comes into the space, but maybe it just ends here. So I'm gonna click to make a point, and if I wanna stop it here, I'll just hit escape. And then that will prevent the cursor from kind of trying to extend the wall in every other direction. You can just stop it right here. And then of course, for any of the inner walls that you create, you can click on the actual uh, end of the wall to shift it around. And then of course, you can just shorten it as well and you always have the ability to click into any of these field measurements um, or these uh, the wall dimension fields to adjust the length of this wall as well. Okay, so now that we've kind of gone over the basics for how to draw out the walls, let's add in some windows, doors, and entrances. So down here in structurals, you're gonna see that you've got your doors and your windows. Let's go into the doors to begin with. So you've got your open entrance option here at the front at the very top uh, position of the door library. And then below that, you're gonna see that there's loads of different doors that you can add to your designs. So you can browse through and have a look. We'll start with the open entrance. So let's click on that. We're gonna come over to our floor plan. And when I come over to my floor plan and hover over the walls, you're gonna see the entrance like this. You're gonna to click to release it wherever you wanna place it. And then you'll see the distance between the edge of the entrance and the edge of the walls. So you'll always know where you wanna place this. And if you want to increase the overall size of the entrance, over here on the right side panel, as long as you've got it selected, you're gonna see that you can adjust the height and the width here. So let's say we wanna make this um, seven feet. So I'll punch in 84 inches and you can see how it adjusts on the actual floor plan. Now let's add some doors in as well. So we'll take this one right here. Let's say I'm gonna place the door right here. When I place the door in the floor plan, you can see here that you can flip the door swing. So if you wanna switch it from left to right or in or out of the actual floor plan, use these arrows. You also have the ability to duplicate your doors. So you can click the duplicate option and then you can place another door of the exact same size and style anywhere else on the actual floor plan. And of course you can delete it here. Now. When you add in a door, you also have the ability to change the height and the width here. You can also change the door finish and everything else, the hardware. We're gonna get into that in another video when we talk a little bit more about the 3D perspective view for your floor plans. So for now, I just wanna focus on the floor plan mode where we're looking top down at the actual floor plan. Um, the next thing that we can do here is we can also add in some windows. So here you're gonna see your full window library. There's lots to choose from, so be sure to have a good uh, browse through that. And when you find a window that you like, click on it, bring it over to your floor plan. Again, when you hover over the walls, you're gonna see what it looks like and you can click to release it. Now, when you click to release your floor plan, and I'm just gonna drag it around so you can see how this works. Whenever I drag it around, I'm just holding down the left button on my mouse and then I release it when I have it in the position that I want. See this little tag right here in the middle of this window? You always wanna make sure that that's facing into your floor plan because, because that's basically indicating that this is the inside part of your window. If I flip it like this, then basically your windowsill is 
actually kind of sticking on the outside of the room. So always make sure this little tag is um, pointing in. And then again, over here, you can choose to change the distance from floor. You can change the height and the width. And of course you can duplicate it. You can delete it and just kind of move your windows wherever you want within your actual floor plan. So that's basically, that's kind of the basics for building out your actual floor plans. When you're ready, you can always look at it from the top down view and it'll give you a more detailed view of your actual floor plan. And your 3D perspective view right here, this is the one that allows you to basically rotate the design around and see it from all angles. Now, in the next videos, we're gonna talk a little bit about how you can customize your doors and your windows with paint colors and wood finishes, how to add paint and trim and different textures to your walls, and also how to furnish your floor plans as well. So we have a lot that we're gonna be covering, but we're gonna break this up into individual videos, and each one will be available to you in the video tutorial library. Of course, if you do have any questions about how to draw out your floor plans, add walls, add windows and doors, feel free to reach out to us on the live chat. We're always happy to help. Thanks for watching.